Nick speaking, and welcome to this video. This is part three of my Catan Shard build, uh, my Void Dragon. Now, unfortunately, um, the first part of this video, I've accident accidentally deleted the first clip, which I'm gutted about, but um, basically in the first clip, I explain that I'm using uh, this grey stuff uh, from Gale Force 9 as opposed to green stuff, but I will be calling it green stuff. Um, I also show the first section of green stuff that I've um, done. Um, I also explain that I had to take out the little pin pins uh, from the model as well um, that I had in the previous video because after I beefed it up it sort of started to cover the pins. So I took the pins out, I shall re-pin it. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go straight on now to the second clip of that video um, so you can have a look and see my progress. Okay, so that's the next bit of green stuff done. So what I've done is um, a green stuff around the base of the horn just to match them in. And I've put the first section of the back of the head of this guy on just to uh, curve it out, make it the, the correct shape. Just glued in the lightning onto that. And I've started to trim down the muscle slightly. Um, not a huge amount, but just re-trim it. I'm hoping a little bit of trim here, plus the beefing of the body is going to make the correct proportions. Um, right, so let's have a look at the, my other green stuff. Okay, so the front's pretty much the same, but you'll notice here um, and here, it's beefed up a little bit more because I've completed the back, or at least the first coat of the back. So there you go, right up to the shoulders as well, and the head section. So, um, yeah, hopefully now, I'm just going to put this on, but there you go. Much better proportions, I think, now. So, yeah, uh, the next step is going to be to uh, pin both arms on and the head. This is all wet at the moment, so I need to let it dry. But, yeah, I'm going to pin those on, and then I'm going to uh, go back over the final coat of green stuff. Okay, so I'll be back when that's done. Okay, here we go. So I've glued those bits on, and um, I've done two sessions of green stuff since I glued them on. So just take a quick look, I'll run through what I did. So after I glued the arms on, I basically went around the joints um, on both sides, and then this section of the torso here I just extended up and brought it down into this like shape just to make this top section uh, match in with the size of the arms really and uh, extended that round to the back area so again I did the shoulders here um, extended this out just to make it a bit more beefier um, since it's come out quite well the neck section here is just um, well it's just about right really as it was um, I also had to go around here just around the top here, if you can see this, but um, on the drape, drapey, clothy thing, uh, where I'd obviously cut that off, the piece that was going around the back, I had to remould it. So I remoulded the top of the cape on this side, around the edge there, and um, all the way down the back here. Still have a little bit more work to do. This is um, still a bit wet. So I still need to go into this area um, and just tidy this little piece up. Um, I think both sides need it to, uh, to be done. Um, maybe this joint here and then I'm pretty much done for this section or at least uh, for now you know I'm going to move on to the next section which is going to be the leg and reassess the whole thing when it's finished and just tidy up any last minute bits so yeah I'm just going to um, let this dry and uh, work on it again tomorrow and then I'll be back for the final clip right there you go so I've just done some more green stuff um, I went over this section just down the, the base of the ribs here. Um, I redid the sides of the ribs as well on both sides, needed a bit more work. I reshaped this a, a little bit more. Um, went over the back as well, added some more here and reshaped this down. So um, I think that's it for now really. I think I'm going to move on to the next stage, uh, which is going to be the part four where I did the, the leg uh, section and then finally prepare to do the the cape and the last part of the video. What, what I'm going to do now is just get my Nightbringer back out for you so you can have a closer look. So there you go, it's looking totally different now. Um, and also on the back, there you go, where I've taken all those capes and stuff off his back. So 
uh, really looking like a different model. Very, very happy with them so far. Pretty excited about this uh, this project. Okay, so there you go for now, and uh, watch out for the next video, part four. Hopefully, I'm gonna start working on this leg.